Hello there, welcome to a strategy request by Capador. He wants uh, us to come from behind. Oh my. I'll explain in a moment. I'll just get the initial build order underway. Let's see. Okay, that looks fine. Don't want my altar too exposed. The enemy will come from here, I think, most likely, unless they're coming from literally behind, underneath here. So we want to at least have a bit of a tower here and barracks here. So I have one entrance here and go from there. So we're going Paladin here into Gyrocotters, but we're going to want to get an expansion fast. Gyrocotters are very wood heavy. So I don't know if there's a shredder on this map, but there certainly will be a lot of trees for me to chop down if need be. And I definitely need gold. So we've got that all underway. We'll get the gold mine filled up and then uh, I'll talk a little bit about it. So let's get going. We have... Uh, Capitol saying he came from behind the destroyers of bases. Oh, hello. There we go. So, 4v4 human, fast expand, copters, and destroy the enemy bases. So I'm going to ping there, tell him that's where I'm expanding, and he can either deal with that or not, but as long as that has been indicated. Good reason for not necessarily... You could block this if you want, and then that kind of forces the enemies to <laughs> go to your allies' base instead, but it's a bit rude. It's probably better to have it so it's difficult for them to get in, but not impossible. That way they might make mistakes and be too aggressive. I think towers here or something, and then block along here. So you just got this one long line that they have to go through. Because I also want to... If I can... Yeah. I also want to get like a lumber mill here. Because there's a whole bunch of trees here. And you get your like your trees here, but they're they're not great. And you've got trees here. So theoretically, if you chopped enough here, you could put a lumber mill there. But it's kind of towards your enemies. Something to ponder, to consider. Let's get the music up. I can't hear much at the moment. There's a hoover going off in the background. Ah, Paladin is out. We can probably just go for the expansion right away, to be honest. Yeah, that's easy. So we just need a small group. Beautiful. Get our expand. In fact, you can send those back if you want. And take all the healthy ones from the gold mine to go take the expand. A little try hard thing to do there, but totally doable. That way, if you get harassed, you got healthier peons building your expansion. Oh, he's got Torrent Chief, and that's kind of cool. I'm going to carry on. He just wanted the experience. He just wanted to join in. Go for it, my friend. Go for it. I'll do the other green spot nearby. Let's get this going. I would actually like to get my tech done first. Oh, he wants to take that. That's a bit brave. He said he was doing TCHH, huh? Okay. One more peon. Oh, hello. Keeper of the Grove trying to be annoying. We'll just allow him to do that for the time being. I should have healed that headhunter, really, but I wanted to be selfish. There we go. We'll just kill this, get experience, and then we'll tech up, because the quicker we tech up, the faster we can get. The good uh, good news is, because it's a Keeper of the Grove, it means we're more likely to do damage to a Night Elf with our Gyrocotters. So he's going to try to entangle. Be annoying. That's fine. Go ahead. Do what you want to do. My tech is going through. Okay. He's going to have to run out this one-way exit. We're going to get a Lumber Mill now. We'll get more Footman, because we can afford it. But it's not exactly what I'm after, but it's just for the time being. And we'll also get more peasants, because I really... Yeah, there's no there's no shredder on this map. And trust me, gyrocopters, they're really good. Kind of. At least they've been buffed. 
It's just they require a lot of wood. They're 30 wood each, and they're only one food. He really wants that spot. Why do you want... Why not just do this? Like, it's right here. I don't know why I listen to people sometimes. I'll be better off if I just do what I think is right, but... There you go. Okay, let's come around here. We can do this. It's just you could creep that as well. I'm literally right next to it, but there you go. Start it off then with your torrent chieftain. Get going. Time for our town to be under siege, that's fine. It can take it for the time being. <laughs> he really doesn't like that barracks. It's holding up well though, isn't it? That barracks. <laughs> I feel like I could just kind of let him get away with it. Nah. Just let him stay there. I don't even mind that much. It's fine. Just go attack. Force them to come back, if anything. Ah, see. He's probably TPing now. Yep, that's one way to do it. You just make them TP. Okay, so we can go back to normal in a second, after the chaos. We're not in a great position here, though. Out. Per... Per free. This ain't a great position to fight in, but here we are. It's happening. Forced him out of the base anyway. So, let's tech up again. We're going single hero here. Say goodbye to Footman. Oh, didn't have to TP. I think we'll be okay. Just run now. In fact, I'm going to run up. If you're going to chase me, you're going to chase me in the wrong direction. You see, he, this guy wants wood. The cheek of it. Look how many peasants I've got trying to get lumber here. I'll give you like 100. But gyrocopter is going to be expensive. I've even got lumber mill right over here. It's going to get mighty expensive. The chase is on. The chase is on. No, my footman. I can't bear to lose that footman. We'll try to get upgrades as well whilst we go. It's just lumber that's going to be the issue. Heck, I'll even get a lumber mill over there as well. Get some experience whilst we're here. And then uh, pop out again. <laughs> Whilst his riflemen are still trying to catch up. Just a cheeky bit of experience. Don't mind if I do. Strike with great vengeance. And then we're going to come down again. And run back round circles, basically, whilst we're building up towards our... Yeah, Purple's dealing with him. He thinks... Oh, this guy chases hard. He's a serious player, this guy. Lumber. Don't stop chasing, don't stop believing. No, my footman. The bash proc. He has another storm bolt as well. Okay. If that guy goes tanks though, I'll be in trouble. So I actually want to see what he's doing in his base. He's going workshop. Feels bad, man. Fucking hell. That sucks. I need to kind of kill him before he gets tanks though. He hasn't got tier 3, so he's not. He's either going mortars or just gyros.
Has purple not dealt with that teal guy? What happened to purple versus teal? He's over here. Oh, this guy's going air. Where's this chase? It just goes on and on and on. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I got a TP back, I suppose, to deal with that, though. Good news is green is not tier 3, so there's no tanks yet. Flying machines are not the best counter, believe it or not, versus mass range. I know it seems like they would be, but they're actually not. Don't know, even know if he's talking to me. Looks like someone's coming in to help. That'll do. Gotta get all that wood again, though. Oh, now we got green to deal with. Definitely need help. I'm actually, that's a dead end. Lol. <laughs> there we go. I've got no more heals, but that should be enough. More lumber is required. What do you think? Of course more lumber is required. It's always required. It never stops the lumber requirement. Even when you're bringing in like 30 lumber a pop with like 13 peasants on wood. Close to it. Yeah, actually I do have 13 pe 14 peasants now. We're obviously going to sit on the 50 food mark for as long as possible. We're going to check on this guy, see how his tier 3 is doing. Obviously, I haven't got a town portal, so I could lose my paladin here. It's pretty suicidal, but what the hell. I just want damage upgrade. And I still mortar teams, and it's still tier 2. Good news. So he's not going to be able to counter that. Orc could be annoying with bats, but I think he's got other problems because he's fighting at the top. How are you guys doing for lumber, eh? Keep running. I'm going to get some more farms here because it just blocks. I'm just going to run up. Paladin's pretty much a lost cause. Head up to the Orc shop if not need be. want to sit on that 50 food for as long as possible. Ah. Oh, he, he doesn't have TP. Oh, he did have TP, even after. I've got to give Orange some gold, actually. Or oh, credit where credit's due. He's doing okay now. This guy's actually out of TPs. But I would like this. And that would be handy. Okay. Well, I can give some wood now. Anyone else need wood? This guy does need some wood. And then we're going to get going very shortly. 2,500 gold, maybe. Upgrade is almost done. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's so just be careful. Time to start producing those gyros. Takes a long time to get them going. Good targets, though. The Dryads and the Fairy Dragons, for the meantime. So I'm not completely useless. So that's Teal being chased off. 
That's all the enemies, though, in this base. Orange, very aggressive TP, though. Luckily, it didn't backfire too much against him. So, Dryers are getting killed there. TC's taunt, Town Portland back. I'm trying to see if there's anything to heal up here. Got to be careful with my gyrocopters versus yellow. More heals for more rifles. Lumber is still low again, as usual. As is the case. Just hang in there. Heals for Paladin. Keep him topped up. Okay. Right. That is quite a lot of gyros, so we can probably do something with that now. By the time the other gyro... Paladin could have done with boost of speed, but I, there's no shop on this map, so unfortunately he's actually really slow if you look at this. Compared to those gyros. That's where this guy's wood has gone. He's invested about 800 in towers there. I want to sneak up in the Night Elf main. Alright, here we go. This is free zero gyros. <laughs> Timber! Level 2 devotion aura. Next tree of life. And then there's that human base to worry about. So we better go deal with that whilst they're having fights. Because I guess the downside is I'm not there with my allies. So we're still in trouble here in that regard. Oh, he's taking to tier 3. Take that down ASAP. All I can do is just go around killing the bases and hope that my allies can hold. If we get like enough of towers, it'll make it much harder for the enemy to push. Okay. Just going to kill these workshops as well whilst we're at it. So he's now at tier 1. Pretty much just destroying all of the economy. We've got green siege me quite hard now, unfortunately. But red is nearby. That forces a TP. Yep. Siege has been dealt with. Frostworms won't last long versus Gyros. I might lose a few to the Fiends, but... Meh. Over to the Orc base. Just going to go straight for the main, ignoring the towers. Hoping that that's enough. No man truly knows. Maybe I should go for the towers. Maybe not. It looks like we're still working. And now we take each out of those towers. Might be time to TP out. I think that's enough damage done. Yeah, my allies did a really good job here. If I didn't have allies that could keep my opponents busy, this would just get destroyed. But because they can, I can go... This is like raiders on crack, basically. You just go around to each of the bases, as I did, and destroy them all. Like, how many bases did I take out? Like, one, two, three... Was there a fourth one? I'm not sure. I won't count that just in case there wasn't. Uh, four, five. That's like five bases that are bringing in money. They're gone now. And they're, they're rebuilding. Like it's, That money is not coming in. It was. So it'd be even more. You counted seven, did you? Okay. 
So I basically got away with quite a lot of murder. It helps if there's a night elf, because night elf are really easy to kill with gyrocopters. Then undead is the next easiest. Let's see how quickly we can level this base. No holy light though for the uh, gyro cutters. Bats apparently. GG! Ah. Request complete. Job's done. There you go. Let's see the building raising done. Building's raised. 19. And then the next highest is 2. <laughs> so there wasn't many buildings being killed that game. Apart from my gyrocopters. Yeah, it's effective, but you need to take a long time to get there. So you need allies that can hold off. If you're playing one of those 4v4 RT games where your allies are useless, this is not going to work. They have to actually sort of pull their weight, and they did. So that was very good. Well done there.